Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine if a graph is a representation of a function or not. So basically, you know, it kind of goes back to, our, again, our definition of you know, what is a function compared to a relation. A function is when we have a set of our, in, our inputs uniquely, are uniquely mapped to an output. And we looked at that as far as you know, coordinate points as a mapping system. And basically, um, our inputs can go to the same output. But we can't have an input value going to different outputs. So I'm going to kind of think about that again as our cord, um, think about that or use uh, that definition when we're looking at a graph. Because basically, all a graph is is a set of coordinate points. Right? And what makes up a graph is coordinate points. You know, you have an x, y, you have an x, y. You have an x, y. So even though we don't know the values of those coordinate points in this graph, um, because I don't have any scaling going on, um, we can still use the definition of x has to uniquely map to y. So we have the x coordinate, or the x axis, and the y axis. Now, basically, when we're doing this, the, the most important thing is for you to understand that x has to uniquely map to y, or the input value has to uniquely map to the output value. The easy way is to use the vertical line test, because the vertical line test pretty much shows you exactly what that means. So let's go and look at this. And let's just go ahead and look at, let's pretend I have some scaling. Let's look at this as negative 3. Okay? So I'm going to use this vertical line test. And this is basically going to represent a vertical line. Now, at the point at this, let's kind of forget about this here. Let's pretend this point here is then negative 3. I don't know what the y coordinate is. Okay? But you could see that at negative 3, well, let's do some scaling. one. One, two, three, four. Let's just pretend that's the point for y. Okay? So on this graph, I'm giving you one point. And I can say at negative three, if I created a vertical line, all right, you can see that that vertical line only crosses your function at negative three. There's no other value. Negative three does not cross my graph at any other value. That means Basically, negative 3 uniquely maps to 4, because the vertical line only um, has negative 3 on the function at one point. Negative 3 uniquely maps to 4. And basically, what we do is take this vertical line and say, all right, I want to make sure this vertical line does not cross the graph more than once. And you can see that, yes. So therefore, this is a function. All right. Now let's go and do that again. If I was going to take the point 3 here, or let's take the point 2. And then let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so if I was going to take the point 2 here, well, what you can see is what, is the va what, what points uh, are on the graph when x equals 2? Well, there's two, two of them. We have 2 is four, 2 comma positive 4 and 2 comma negative 4. All right, and this represents here, again, you can show that by using the vertical line again. If I was going to take a vertical line at 2, you can see that my vertical line crosses my graph twice. So therefore, 2 maps to not only 4, but it maps to negative 4. So if we were to do this with um, the coordinate points, this would not be a function. So the easy way to kind of tell using the vertical line test is to basically just take a vertical line. And if, they, and if the vertical line crosses your function only once, it's a function. If your vertical line crosses your function more than once, like here, 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 it's always crossing more than once, then it is not a function. OK, so let's go and check this one. Now, this one looks pretty close, right? But it's I mean, these are very, very steep line. However, it is, I can only see it crossing it once. Gets very close. But the graph is only, this vertical line is only crossing my graph once. So therefore, it's a function. Over here, though, immediately as I bring my vertical line, like, eh, 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 right, like a metal detector, you can see that for every vertical line, doesn't matter where I draw the vertical line, it has two y values. Remember, x represents your input values, y represents your output values. So this basically vertical line represents your input value. So as you're moving your input value, if you have two points, you're going to have two different y values. So therefore, this is not a function. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a graph is a function or not. Thanks. Hello.